Hello fellow modelers, in this video I am going to build the second model from Takum Kit. I promised you that this model would be more detailed and better it than the first one which I made recently. I also want to create post-apocalyptic diorama from Chernobyl, so I chose simply Soviet green camouflage this time. A lot of plastic parts have ejector pin marks which are visible only from the bottom side of the model, but this time I want to make model properly so I must remove them with a hobby knife and sandpaper. This is the major part of the whole kit and looks nice, but I want to create better details. First I cut out plastic handles with a sharp blade. I also want to open some hatches on the roof. And the easy way is just completely remove them with a microelectric drill. Now I am removing excess plastic with a hobby knife. Good is to have a new blade, but be careful with your fingers. This tool is extremely sharp and you can easily cut yourself badly. So do not rush and safety first. Or you can use grinding pins, but beware of friction heat. You can easily this way destroy the whole part. Therefore I use for the final work metal files. The kit manufacturer wanted to make life easier for modelers and molded the doors with a glass in one piece from clear plastic. However, I want to have the doors with a broken glass, so I must modify even this part. I made a new circular hatch from the plastic and epoxy party. Also, I am creating the new rectangular hatches from old aluminum drink bottle. You can use can from beer or some lemonade. I already told you that the model would be heavy weathered, so even headlights must be broken. Therefore I am sculpting new ones from epoxy party. Ok, now the handles. I have micro drill bits which allows easy installation of wires. I like that Tacom has all plastic sprues with rectangular cross section, therefore I preserve them for modifications. Now it is handy. If you tension sprue with a heat you will get lovely thin square fiber, which is mostly more useful than circular. Now I am trying to sculpt new upholstery on the seat with epoxy party. It will be abandoned track, so also seed must be damaged. I 
I remove plastic handles on sides. First I try to drill holes without measuring, and each one had different size, so I can recommend instead measure everything properly before drilling. I use thin copper wires from old electronic conductors, but more comfortable is to buy coil with a few meters of a proper diameter. Also, the rear view mirrors have thick plastic support, so I replace them with a wire. I mentioned before that a lot of plastic parts have ejector pin marks. And the chassis is a good example. I fill each one with a Tamiya white party. I had a problem, in the kit are sweet rubber tires, but for my model are not very useful, because I needed under inflated tires. So I made molds and cast new wheels from resin. You probably can try to modify rubber tires with a knife or heat like a plastic ones, but I'm not sure with this technique. Another problem is that in this kit is not included the engine, and as you can see this section is sadly empty. I also tried to recast some resin accessories which I have for future projects, like this Maybach engine for Panzer III. It isn't of course the same engine which was used in Mass 537, but after some modifications it will be similar and in any case hardly visible. The resin part looks without details, but if you spray it with a grey primer you will see them. And I made an underinflated effect when the resin was partially solid. I made some progress with my casting skills from my latest video with the thermoplastic molds from Blue Stuff. Nowadays I use silicone rubbers for molds, suitable quality liquid resin and primarily vacuum pump. Therefore the cast is almost 100% accurate as the original part and without bubbles. I think the model looks a little bit more interesting with all the details. And now it's time for painting. The model will be very rusty and weathered, so I'm spraying the base layer with a dark rust shade first. This transparent chipping fluid is varnish, which can be removed with the water. So I'm spraying a smooth layer and when the water evaporates it will create a thin transparent film. I paint the whole chassis with a black and then highlights with a light grey color. I use similar method for the rest of the model, but this time I use Soviet green shades. It seems that the color is properly dry, so I can moisten base chipping varnish with water and remove top green layer. The 
The whole process is more or less random, so for precision work I use toothpick. I told you that it would be very rusty. I collected some lovely photos from Chernobyl and Pripyat, so that you can check the link in the video description. Now I'm fixing the chipping varnish on the rest of the model with a clear lacquer varnish, because otherwise you would probably remove all the top color with the washes and other weathering chemicals. I use black wash which create nice color contrast and make a lot of details more pronounced. I unify model with a clear flat varnish, because it's better for oil painting. And meanwhile, I'm trying to imitate the rust on the chassis. I wanted to use the chipping technique, but with a top black color was the result almost the same. Therefore, I use instead of chipping ordinary dry pigments. So the most important details are on the model. Now I think there is a time for more weathering effects. No, it is still not enough. I didn't use oil paints yet. The green and rust shades are very uniform, so I am trying to add more shades and also with oil paints. The chassis is also very uniform, but this time too much rusty, so I change this feeling with a dark wash. The 
v last but not least details. I think you will find it interesting, because I did. I am making broken glass from thin plastic transparent foil. I have for this documentation of original MAS 537. I think without proper documentation would be hard to imagine how to make it realistic. I cut out the basic shape of a broken windshield with a sharp scissors and then imitate cracks with a sharp blade. Personally, I think this is the best detail of the whole model. In any case, something is still missing, just some lovely details. I think these small leaves are the final touch. Ok, the last detail. I make tire pattern optically more pronounced with light grey color and dry brush technique. And with these steps is model finished. Here is also the second track. You probably do not see all the details from a distance and also in the small 72 scale are hardly recognizable. But I wanted to show you that even this detail kit from Tacom can be a little bit modified. With this model I started another mini-series because I'm going to build another small diorama and this time with a very mood atmosphere. So I'm looking forward. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Special thanks to Model Emporium eShop for supporting kit and tools for this video.